Hi, and welcome along to AFTV News Daily, the early edition, coming to you today on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, also on Periscope and on Twitter. Um, welcome along to the show this morning. Beautiful day here in uh, the UK. Hope wherever you are, you're enjoying yourself and having yourself a great day so far. And um, as we start to move towards the possibility of seeing um, Premier League football being played, um, it's, it's so weird because, as we all know, the Premier League should have finished uh, last weekend. We should actually be sort of in that relaxing holiday mood now. Football has finished, but <laughs> we're waiting for it to um, restart. And as part of the Project Restart, they've been testing um, a load of uh, players and staff amongst the 19 Premier League football clubs. Um, they've carried out 748 tests so far, and um, they've found six positive um, tests. So out of those 748, six positive tests, which, listen, there's any positive test is not good. It's not great. But for six out of the whole 748, that's a, that's a very, very low percentage indeed. Um, um, some of those um, tests that were positive uh, included uh, a couple at Watford. I think at Watford there was... Um, one player and two members of staff. They haven't named the player, but one member and two players of staff who got it. And um, remember, we've heard from Troy Deeney, the captain has been saying that, listen, he's not going into trade. He didn't even go in yesterday. He recently had uh, the birth of his um, child, who's five months, who's been having some breathing problems, so he doesn't want to risk it. So he must be, you know, thinking to himself, that was the right decision he made when he finds out that one player and two members of staff at Watford have actually got the coronavirus and are now self-isolating. And at Burnley, um, the assistant um, <clears throat> the assistant manager there, um, as you can see there, um, with Sean Dyche, that's Ian Wone. He's uh, also um, tested positive for the coronavirus and he has gone into isolation. So it's bad that anybody gets it, but on the grand scheme of things, you know what I mean, um, six positive tests out of testing 748 members of staff at these football clubs, I suppose is encouraging um, to the football authorities who are trying to get things started again. It, had it turned up like, you know, hundreds positive tests or something like that, they would have had to seriously think again about bringing football back at all. But um, they'll be encouraged by the small number of positive tests there um, and be looking still to be pushing ahead to try and get the season completed. Also, um, on the news front, Manchester City. Now, we know that City, they got done by UEFA for breaking uh, various rules um, around transfers, around finances, etc. And they've been banned from all uh, European competitions um, for the next two seasons. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Manchester City um, have now said that they are definitely appealing that. Um, the ban was actually supposed to kick in from the 8th of June, but obviously because of the whole coronavirus crisis and stuff like that, um, that sort of pushed all of that back a bit. Um, but they are going to be appealing this, and um, the appeal will probably be heard sometime um, during June. So I think everybody's going to be keeping an eye to see exactly how this one plays out because it could have significant consequences for all of the teams at the moment currently trying to aim for the top four because that top four could turn into the top five if City's um, ban is upheld for two seasons or even one season. So it's going to be really interesting to see um, what happens with that. And it could be quite damaging for City as well. You've heard guys like Kevin De Bruyne say that, you know, basically if there's no European football, I'm not too sure if I'll be here. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how that one all pans out. Now, Arsenal linked with a few players, as usual today, um, including Moussa Diaby of uh, Bayer Leverkusen, yet another one of those French imports in Germany. They seem to uh, be having just as many French imports in Germany um, as they do here in, in the Premier League. And um, he's a 20-year-old winger, plays for Bayer Leverkusen, as I said. You would have seen him playing in the game on Monday night, and he played very well, actually, against Werder Bremen, in which... Uh, Leverkusen won pretty easily. Um, he um, provided two assists in that game. Um, and he's got five goals and eight assists already this season. Valued at around about £26 million. Um, can play on either wing as well. So 
he's a player that's interested in Arsenal a lot. There's quite a few other clubs um, looking at him as well, as usual. Um, but valued at around about £26 million. I think uh, Leverkusen didn't even pay, well, they paid about £12 million for him or something like that. £26 million he's uh, valued at now. Could he be on his move on the way to Arsenal? A winger. We don't need a winger. You know, he's a good player. He is. He's very quick. Again, <clears throat> I just look at it and say, those are areas that we don't really need. I suppose it will be influenced by what happens with Aubameyang. If Aubameyang leaves, well, then, you know, maybe changing how we play, <coughs> excuse me, might be the way to go. But he has been linked um, with a move to Arsenal today. Now, we know um, that Henrik Mkhitaryan, um, wants to move. We know he's out on loan at the moment um, at Roma. He's enjoying himself there and he wants to leave to go there. Roma want him as well. Um, but the sticking point is the whole value of him. Now, um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, frog in my throat today. Let me drink some more of that vodka that you like keep telling me I'm drinking, right? Ooh. Vodka goes down good in this time of morning. It's not vodka, by the way. <laughs> but, um, on this um, whole thing with Mkhitaryan, um, there's reports that his agent, Mina Riola, might have come up with a solution for Arsenal. We know that Arsenal have been interested in uh, swap deals and loans this summer. They've openly come out and said that might be the way to go this summer because of the fact that money is going to be so limited. Um, and Mina Riola is saying, well, <clears throat> what about a swap deal swapping Patrick Cliver for... Henrik Mkhitaryan. What about that deal? And um, <clears throat> there's a lot of people who are getting excited about this and saying, yeah, that sounds like a decent deal. Now, Patrick Kluivert, of course, is the son of the Holland legend, Pat sorry, Justin Kluivert. I keep, I'm saying Patrick already. And you know what? He looks just like um, Patrick Kluivert, um, but it's Justin Kluivert. And his dad is uh, the Holland legend, um, Patrick Kluivert. Of course, Patrick Kluivert, unbelievable player. Ajax, Barcelona. Holland. Um, this is his son who looks just like him, by the way. He's only 21, but he's um, already doing pretty well. Um, you know, decent season at Roma. 27 appearances, seven goals. Again, another player can play on either wing. He's um, really a winger predominantly. Um, now, apparently, the, the talk is that Mia Rillo has come up with this, uh, come up with this uh, suggestion that um, Cliver plus 13 million. So, sorry, Mikatorian plus 30 million could get Cliver. I don't know what you guys think of that. He's only 21. He is a hot prospect across uh, Europe. Of course, the, you know, the Cliver name as well carries a lot of weight as well. Um, would that be a good deal for Arsenal? They they want to get Mikatorian off the books. Cliver coming the other way. Again, um, predominantly a winger, though. Again, a winger. We could play on both wings, but a winger. Um, do we need a winger? That's the thing. But um, linked today with Arsenal, um, Cliver, in this swap deal, um, what do you guys reckon? Would you be up for that? Would you be up for uh, a swap deal with Mkhitaryan going plus 13 million for Cliver? Let's see how that one pans out. And uh, we've been linked with a player, and we always got these little taglines, the new N'Golo Kante, they're calling him, right? He's, uh, <laughs> his name's called uh, Ibrahima Diallo. His brother actually plays football as well. His brother's actually at PSG, but he's at a club called Stad Brestios um, in Liga. He's had a real breakout season, only 21, um, but he's been compared to N'Golo Kante. I think a couple of reasons why is that, number one, he's sort of come out of nowhere and he's sort of, you know, at, uh, not the most fashionable club. Um, his style of, you know, when you see him running with the ball, um, very similar to Kante, the way he sort of moves around the pitch, very similar to Kante. Um, Leicester apparently bid um, £16 million pounds for him in January, but that was rejected and, that, you know, it was turned down by his club. Um, the valuation they said to want is round about the £20 million pounds mark um, for Ibrahim Adalo. Um, and um, could he be a possible replacement for Lucas Torreira. We've been hearing rumblings this week about Torreira, that, you know, his um, representative saying that he wants to go back to Italy. So could this uh, guy, Diallo, be a possible replacement for um, Torreira? He's an under-21 uh, French international. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, 
a lot of Arsenal fans would prefer to see if Torreira did go, somebody with a bit more presence in there. With you know, and that's where a lot of fans seem to like Partey. But um, let us know what you think on that. So lots of rumors around today. Let's get into uh, what you guys are saying. Um, Boombox Music says, uh, Little Cliver won't work. You've got Saka and Nelson are much better. So um, he's he's not feeling the Cliver thing. Um, whereas this guy is saying uh, Mickey plus 10 to 15 million is a no-brainer, right? Remember, it's Mkhitaryan. Yeah, Mkhitaryan plus 10 to 15 million gets you Cliver. Um, Bombarda Dash says, I swear he can play at, um, at CAM um, Cliver. I, I think he's more of a winger, more of a winger. Uh, let's get this guy here. He's Dutch. He says, um, I'm Dutch. I've seen Cliver for a while. He's got talent, but I think his personality ain't great. Unlikely that he will be good enough um, for us at the moment. So that's very interesting. Um, he's saying that Cliver is not ready yet um, to come to Arsenal. Whereas Syed says, Robbie, um, I would take Cliver all day long. The kid's amazing and has just slipped off the radar, suits the Premier League to a T. Um, SB says, don't forget, Cliver played for Newcastle. Yes, he did. It was sort of towards the end of his career, but um, he did play um, there. And uh, Ben Kimmon says, uh, Usman, Edouard, Kotku, Partey, get it done, Arsenal sell five to six players. I love the way you guys just always just make it sound so easy. <laughs> uh, um, let's get some more comments coming in. Uh, Daniel Chambers says, I rate Cliver, but I feel it will ruin the chances of Nelson. Um, unless he goes on loan, we don't need him. So um, he's saying that we don't need uh, um, Cliver. Yassim saying, Robbie, Arsenal need to go for Leroy Sane. Well, there's no way. It's Man City ain't Arsenal. They're not going to sell Leroy Sane to us. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unless that injury then, if they've just probably assessed the injury and seen that it's still a problem, that maybe they sell him to us. That I couldn't see that. No chance. Um, Yeko says, hi, Robbie. I'm watching from Abu Dhabi. Um, Arteta will bring our club um, back on top. Let's keep Torreira much love. Well, that's the thing. Can we keep Torreira? Um, he's making sounds like he wants to leave. We heard these sounds last year as well. It doesn't seems like he's not adjusting to life in the UK uh, very, very well at all. Um, and if he does go, could we bring in this uh, Ibrahima Diallo from Stad Brestios? Would he be the answer? Who knows? Um, Lawrence Payne says, uh, watch videos of Emil, I think he means Emil Smith-Rowe, at uh, Huddersfield, miles ahead of anyone else. He could also be Ozil's replacement 100%. I've always said that I really rate that kid. Got very unlucky with some injuries um, just as he was starting to kind of knock on the door um, for the first team. I do like him. And um, it'd be interesting to see what Arsenal do with him um, next season, whether they keep him out on loan at Huddersfield or maybe another club, um, or they bring him back and start playing. And it's going to be interesting because we all know there's not going to be a lot of money to spend. We know that. There never is really, but we know in particular um, there's not going to be a lot of money to uh, spend. Um, Ler Wayne Lowe says, uh, Nelson is actually really good. I don't think we need Cliver. Nelson is maturing very well, and the best thing is he is homegrown. That's very true as well. We always like to go for the exotic um, foreign player, but sometimes we might have that talent right here if we give it a chance. Um, Munich says, so everyone is the next Kante. What happened to Torreira? I thought he was the next Kante. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know, uh, Torreira's a good player, but something's not, something ain't right there. Something is not right with Torreira at Arsenal, hence why he doesn't get played all the time. We keep hearing all these stories about he's unhappy. He's not settled. Um, there's something up. There really is something up. Uh, Nasser says, uh, hey, Robbie, what about Calvin Phillips at Leeds? He's a very, very good player as well. That's another um, good one. Um, would definitely be worth taking a look at. I, I don't know what sort of money Leeds would be after for him, but I definitely, when I've seen him play, Definitely looks like um, 
a player that is ready for the Premier League and probably will be in the Premier League next season with Leeds if they complete their season. Uh, Josh Grant says, uh, we don't need wingers. Let's focus on getting a centre-back and sorting out our defence first. Sensible, but we don't seem to be sensible here. Um, Shagart says, uh, loan out some players to the Bundesliga and see what happened to them. They will start scoring goals. Farmers League. So he doesn't rate the, the Bundesliga. He thinks it's a Farmers League. Listen, there's some very good teams in the Bundesliga. You know what I mean? Would Arsenal beat Bayern? No. Would Arsenal, well, I saw Dortmund, you know, Dortmund would beat Arsenal right now. Um, Bayer Leverkusen are, you know, a very good team. You know, Borussia Mönchengladbach, a very good team. There are some there are some very good teams. I, I think the Premier League is a higher standard because obviously there's a lot more money in the Premier League, but um, don't get it twisted. That's not a farmer's league, um, the Bundesliga. There's some very good teams in there. Um, let's... Uh, Tyler says, uh, apparently we're close to signing uh, Erkan Kotku, Forts Robbie. There's been a lot of talk of that. Um, the creative midfielder plays for Feyenoord. Um, still young. Um, looks a real, real, real um, player. And he's, he's still, as I said, very, very young. And yeah, we need a long-term replacement um, for Mesut Ozil, who we know will be going next season. Might be a good time to bring Kotku in and see how he can adapt, you know, um, to the Premier League. He's been playing over in uh, Holland, and we know that there's some players that leave from Holland, they come to the Premier League, and it doesn't, you know, they find it really difficult. There's others that do well. Um, it's going to be a gamble, but listen, we definitely need freshening up in that area. Um, Alex, Alex, I'll say Alex. He says, Robbie is the next Kante. <laughs> it's true. Everybody's the next this, the next that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why not just buy the original? Um, Shrey says uh, we need to get rid of Mickey. 13 million is like 15 months' wages of Mickey. So why not um, get Clyburn? And I follow Roma. He's a great player to come off the bench. He's very direct. And um, we could get Kessie. For Lucas, um, we're talking about lots of swap deals now. So, you know, um, Dagmoire says, uh, Robbie, we need a left winger because Saka is our only natural left winger. Well, remember, you can also have uh, Abamian playing there as well if we hang on to him. I mean, yeah, it could be looking at some of these players if Abamian goes, but um, we really got to try and keep hold of Abamian, man, I tell you. Um, Amar23 says, uh, Mickey Clybert swap would be good for us, even though it's not the most um, topmost uh, priority. But we need to reduce the dead wood now. It's time um, we make some uh, shrewd signings like these. Um, oh, well, I'm there. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's happened here on my screen. It's, it's, the, the, these chats have come up massively. I can't even see the, uh, let me try and get it back there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> live. This is what we do when it's live. All right, let me, hopefully you'll still see me. Let me um, keep going through some of these comments. Um, this one says, um, hey, Robin, I hey, Robbie, I think we should uh, look at Norwich players. Of course, with, um, with Norwich players, you know, I mean, it's going to be really interesting. You know, I think everybody, um, is looking at it and saying to themselves, what is going to happen to teams like Norwich? You know, if they go down, what is going to happen there? Um, a lot of those players that they've got are going to be available, like Cantwell. Um, there's other players um, as well that are out there, you know, um, uh, at Norwich that we could uh, grab up. So there's all those clubs down at the bottom where Arsenal will have a chance to try and get hold of some real, real talent at good prices. But it's what are we going to do? You know, it's going to be really, really interesting to see. All right, I'm having some real problems with my screen here. So I'm just going to, I'm hoping that these are coming up and you can, um, you can see them. But um, I'm going to do a couple more. 
Um, this guy says, I hope you can see that, he says, what's happening to Saka? Who knows? Nobody seems to know um, what's happening. I do think that that deal will get done. I think that Saka will sign um, a new deal at Arsenal. And I'm going to do this one as a last one. Um, it says, uh, get Clive at deal done and play him on the left wing. Sell Lacazette, um, bring in Partey, um, play Aubameyang down the middle, sell Bellerin and bring in Max Ahrens. Thoughts? Sounds good. Lots and lots of people to bring in there. But as I said, will it get done? Listen, thanks for watching the show today. Don't forget we're going to be back tonight. We'll be uh, back tonight at 8 o'clock. Make sure you tune in and also check out all of our great content. Uh, don't forget to check out the All Guns Blazing podcast that is out right now with me and DT discussing, is there a snitch in Arsenal's camp? Thanks for watching and we'll be back later.